guys, it's me, Zell, and we're here with another episode of The Bad Batch, episode two, continuing our watch through of season two. And episode two is Ruins of War. So we left on a cliffhanger on the first episode with them plummeting, plummeting down into the ground on a cargo thing. Obviously we know they're gonna be fine because then the rest of the season would be pretty weird without Omega and Tech and Echo. So yeah, but uh, anyways, yeah. So we'll get going watching the episode and don't forget to stick around towards the ending if you wanna hear my thoughts on it. Um, and if you're not already subscribed so you know when videos go live and otherwise, let's get to it. The Bad Batch. Dun, 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 dun. Ruins of War. I always like those intros, just like kind of the Clone Wars. So the Clone Wars, you get the narrator. Ooh. The re-entry thrusters should engage soon. If they don't, we're all dead. How is Omega so calm? <laughs> She's so cute. Wow, the animation right here is amazing. Amazing. My calculations have us crashing towards the upper forest region of the planet. Crashing? <laughs> I know. Tech, why you gotta say it like that? Oh! Did Tech just get smashed? I hope you know that you're teetering on an edge. Nope! Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh! My left femur has been fractured by oh. approximately 150 kilograms of pressure. So, no. Oh, tag. Still haven't landed. Holy crap. I want confirmation. Captain Wilco. Captain Wilco, confirmed. Two from the castle must be in the city. Wait, we can't leave without the war chest. We don't have time. Omega. Com channels are being uh oh monitored. That's not a clone. We're being followed. Don't move! I am not. Who are you? What are you doing here? I live here. The name's Romar. He could be working for the Empire. I'm sorry to say there's no shelter around these parts. I'm registering a heat source 200 His meters house. west of here. I suspect it is your domicile. How did you take us there? Oh. Why is your house in the middle of nowhere? There we go. Thank you. Didn't really have a choice once the Empire showed up, but we make do. We. We. And the other survivors who fled the destruction. You think Dooku funded his war effort by only stealing from outside worlds? No. He took from us, his own people. Mm. His quest for power is why our city is now buried in rubble. Oh. Well, There's enough in that container for all of us. I want none of it. Let the Empire take it. The Aww. sooner they're gone, the better. And the same goes for you. Ooh, kaleidoscope. There are jewels in here? No. No, it's only reflected glass. It's a toy. Makes you happy. Aww. And believe me, that is worth more than any jewel. This here contains a fragment of my people's history. Our culture. Art, Aww. music, This is such memories. a good lesson for her. A separatist archive. Not separatist. Serenian. We did exist before the war, you know. It's just helping them connect with the people and not just... They're just so logical and... Because again, they didn't really exist before the war. Well... He could survive, right? No. Nope. Now, now it's kill mode. And yet, that's a kind of little dark combo. Hunter was doing stuns while he was doing explosives. Are you sure, you know what you're doing. Aww. Uh, you, you actually did it. Well, of course I did. <laughs> He's just so logical. Omega. Oh Take out that gun. Oh, surrounded. 
excited. This, I don't know why this part is giving me like Jurassic Park vibes. My shinies! On the Marauder. You don't have a normal life because of me. Oh my god. Listen to me. Please. Oh. Oh no! They're so hard! I feel like that was really easy. Hey, kid. Keep it. And remember what I said. Get going. More will be on the way. Aww. What about you? I'm a survivor. Remember? We made the right choice, Omega. I'd do it all again. Echo. You stated the would-be thieves you encountered were the rogue clones from Experimental Unit 99. Yet, that is impossible. Their squad perished during the fall of Topoka City. I had visual confirmation on two of them. They're alive. Oh no! I see. If Governor Tarkin were to learn of my misstep, then I would be at risk. And that cannot happen. Which is why a new report will be submitted. Sir. I oh, no. will not falsify an oh, official no. report. I understand. I will. I feel bad for him. Oh my gosh. <coughs> and that music. It's so dark. Dude. He just moved boss at him. Well, that was a good episode. Um, I really, I really liked it. I really liked that there was some, a lot of good life lessons for Omega beyond the clone, beyond the war. Romar being, telling her about being happy and just enjoying the simple things. Not always about treasure or money or the mission. It's about, again, those small moments. And even if things don't have value, that they can have value, you know? So I really love that. And then of course for tech, I love that because again, I didn't think about it, but it's so true that to them, the war was the start of everything and they don't remember or remember or consider things before the war. And so tech's like complete surprise when they had this data cube with the history beyond separatists. He's like, oh no, this is for my people. And he's like, oh, I didn't think about that. I just love it. And then again, tech being surprised that he came and helped. And literally like Omar like put his life in the line right there, getting in a speeder, which one, he probably doesn't know that well how to drive. He was a little bit confused, but he just winged it. Like, you know, similarities in technology. And he was like right teetering on the edge and he just did it without a thought. He's just like, I'm gonna help these people. There's two people down there, they need my help. There's no other option. It's just, it's so, and him saying like, we're survivors. And he's just, he's just like, we do what we need to do to survive and help, help our people. And so it was such a sweet message. I really liked the episode. And then of course the action and, and then that dark moment at the end with the Admiral Rampart being like backstabbing, you know, protective. I mean, I get it. I'm not surprised he did that. And when you're trying to protect, listen, if the biggest power in the universe, the Palpatine, is the guy who's gonna get the memo that you did a bad job, really, do you think he's gonna give you a second chance? No. So he's like, hmm, either take this guy out because he won't falsify this information, or I will die, or be tortured, or whatever. It just is unfortunate because, yeah, as clones, they have a duty and a mission, and he kind of maybe didn't have a choice in a way because it probably is in his his training in his chip or whatever to do what you're told do what the mission requires so i don't know it's it's a defi definitely a difficult situation he probably could have just like imprisoned him being like this guy is a traitorous liar and you know but no it's easy to just take him out but yeah, anyways, good episode. I hope you guys liked it. And if you liked my reaction and review, please leave your support by giving a thumbs up. And again, if you aren't already subscribed, since my schedule is not consistent, that's the best way to be alerted when videos go live. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That'll alert you. 
I definitely don't do so much that is overwhelming and it's worth having on if you want to know. So do that and comment with your thoughts below. How did you like this episode? Is there anything that stood out to you? Any um, Easter eggs or little bits of the story that you thought are worth highlighting? Go ahead and share that. Anyways, thanks for being here. It's good to be back and watching this great Star Wars show and I will see you on the next one.